Oh my gosh, hello. Hi. Say hi to the camera. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be giving all my viewers a glimpse in the life of a vegan. I have a podcast on local vegan restaurants that segues into discussion about what it means to be vegan, grocery shop as a vegan, where to go, and what that might involve. You can find that audio on podbean.com. My username is jwyman88. So that's jwyman88.podbean.com. And what I'm going to show you guys today is what it looks like coming back from a trip to the grocery store um, and also how to shop on a budget. So there is a common misconception that being vegan is expensive, but I suppose that really depends on what you're buying. If you're looking for meat substitutes, specialty items, or supplementary replacements, then yes, the numbers on your receipt might begin to add up. However, starting with the essentials and buying the basics can fulfill your dietary needs without hurting your wallet. I just got back from a grocery trip to Edmonds, my market of choice, and I only spent $65 on roughly two weeks worth of food. Granted, I'm only one person, I'm not shopping to feed a whole family, I still bought enough food that could easily be divided between two people or prep for a week's worth of meals. Alright, so I laid down all of my items on my kitchen table so that you can see what I came up with. Here is my receipt. I'm going to wait for the camera to focus there. 65.28 was my total. It probably would have been a little bit less than that. However, I bought a couple of items that put me over that I don't really typically buy every time I go to the grocery store. For example, like I don't always buy capers. Um, so these aren't staple items. However, pretty much everything else that you're looking at, I do typically use almost every single day or every other day. We have tomato and basil tortillas. This is a great example of C Wegmans brand and it has a nice big fat V. And if you go to Wegmans buffalo sauce, you'll see it there. And it's pretty much labeled on everything. About that, that V, you get the idea. I like to make burritos and this Gardein beefless ground meat is perfect for that. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, it's kosher, and it is a great source of protein. Flip it over in the back, and you look at the protein. 18 grams of protein. Another great source of protein. Here are the beans I typically buy. You can use these in your burritos, but you can also put them in chili. These are essential to my three bean chili. I also have a mixed bag of peppers, fresh baby spinach. Spinach goes without saying it is super important. We've got frozen broccoli. I typically buy fresh broccoli. Um, I have right here, it's called Light Life Tempeh, 16 grams of protein. So this is another excellent source of protein. Um, what I do with this tempeh, you can do a few things with it. You can chop it up, put it in salads, wraps, things of that nature. So what I like to do with the tempeh is dice it up. I pour the buffalo sauce. I give it a few minutes to cook. Um, I let the sauce really mix with it and this is what the Just Ranch is for. I dip it in ranch, I'll serve it with broccoli, cook up some rice, throw some beans in the rice, and you got yourself a really whole proper meal. Um, this brand, Just Ranch, is phenomenal. It is vegan, although it's not labeled vegan. When you look at the ingredients, it is vegan friendly. They also have chipotle mayo, regular mayo. They have um, a lot of great items. So next, I have my breakfast station for a frozen bag of triple berry. So I, usually I will whip that up in the morning with some soy milk, throw in a fresh banana, um, so maybe some chia seeds, protein powder. And this has, as of late, become a staple for me. Hashi, organic island vanilla. They have some other flavors as well, but I like this one. It is vegan, and what I do in the morning is I will pull, pour a bowl, I will pour some soy milk, 
few scoops of peanut butter, and banana. I am obsessed with pasta. I That's pretty much all I eat. I will admit that I eat probably way more pasta than I should. Um, and these are a great go-to. I actually will, um, you know, if I'm having a really long day, I'm tired, I don't feel like cooking a meal, I will just pour some pasta in a pot. I will mix the Gardein beef crumbles. Again, you wanna get that protein. And I will mix it with some red sauce, put it all together. Really satisfying, really simple. Briefly touched upon the rice, but rice is also a huge staple that is so cheap. Rice is so affordable. It's one of those bulk items. Um, you can buy a lot of it for little and it gets you through every single meal pretty much. So yeah, I mean, I could spend a lifetime talking about food and this is just one shopping trip. So. I will um, wrap it up. Um, on my Instagram page, I do post a lot of my final products with meals that I make, and I also share some of my secrets. So um, I have been in the process of getting a blog started. I do have a couple of blog posts out right now, and you can find them on altjw.wordpress.com. Anyways, this is, uh, this is it for now. Coming from your favorite vegan, signing off, Julie.